Hi, I'm Rick Begg. This is my 1928 Stutz BB Tourer. It's a big American touring car of the late 20s and uh, it's, it drives as well as it looks. The guy that started the business, Harry uh, Clayton Stutz, he formed a company in about 1906 um, and he uh, decided that a good way to uh, get some publicity was to race. They had a crack at Le Mans on a number of occasions. Uh, in 1928, they uh, they managed second after a titanic battle with the uh, with the Bentleys. Sitting so Carmen had been dug up in 22, and one of the things that Stutz did to cash in on that was to go for Ra, the sun god, as their radiator mascot. So this model was uh, was a very much a an Art Deco uh, influenced model. You'll notice on the. Dash, there's a bit of Art Deco influence there as well. Popular car for uh, wealthy people in the 20s who wanted to travel big distances in Australia because they are a big powerful car, um, robust, and so under those conditions they, they sold quite well. There are a surprising number of Stuts in the country given that uh, not too many people know what they are. Um, when I was at, at uh, uni in the 60s, cars like these were you know, 150 pounds. This car I first came across in about 2007 when it came up for auction at Shannon's in, uh, in Brisbane. Um, I uh, was the underbidder at that auction. And then about two years ago this car came up for auction again and so I got it at about roughly what I'd been prepared to pay in 2007. I think your best bet is to buy one that's been fairly sort of extensively um, uh, overhauled, at least as much as most of the hard work on the bodywork and so forth is concerned. They introduced hydraulic brakes very early in, the, in 26 and 27. Uh, it has a straight eight, just less than five litres capacity. The engine is a beautiful piece of work. It's a nine bearing crankshaft, um, single overhead cam. The cam is chain driven by a two stage drive at the front of the engine. The fan is driven off the idler. There's no belts, no nothing uh, flapping around. The distributor has 16 uh, plug leads coming off it. Uh, you've got two coils, each running uh, eight cylinders. The dynamo is driven off the side of the timing cover there and then there's a shaft that drives back to the water pump. So we'll have a look at the induction side. There's the other eight um, spark plugs and down there is our wonderful Stromberg twin choke Carby. That's uh, a vacuum operated fuel pump. Transmission, uh, it's a single plate clutch, um, fairly straightforward number. Uh, the gearbox is a three speed uh, crash box, as in no synchromesh. Um, the, that drives into a torque tube, which um, drives down to a worm drive rear axle, which is quite unusual. But that allowed them to build the bodywork much lower because the you know, the torque tube was lower than it would have been on a, on a normal spiral bevel drive. The starting procedure is relatively straightforward. Um, the ignition on, I'll put the backup fuel pump on because uh, it hasn't run for a while, so we'll just do that to make sure we've got plenty of fuel. Choke on, and then foot onto the starter button. And <coughs> eventually, Where's it gone? There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Simple when you know how. Open road will cruise at about 110. Um, not particularly comfortably up there, but it'll do it. Uh, it's happiest at about between 90 and 90 and 100. Uh, fuel consumption's not good. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's fine. You can drive it anywhere you like. It's got a bit of body roll, but hey, you know, it's a, it's a big heavy car and uh, steering's a bit vague, but once you get it going, um, the steering lightens up uh, enough to make it quite, quite comfortable. It's surprising that for a, a car of the 20s to be actually pleasant to drive in, in modern traffic. Uh, the last of the, of the real sporting stutzers, uh, they were a damn fine car. I knew she was the one. The heart's going a million miles an hour, the mouth's dry. It's love, mate. Pure and simple. 
In 71, this was the fastest four-door car in the world. Back then, you could pick one up for a bit over four grand. Insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. No one knows your passion like Shannon's. And with our multi-vehicle discount, you can even cover your daily drive. So call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts.